Well, welcome back to Life Journey Production Studios. I am Keith, and this is going to be a unique video. I just want to ask this question. Maybe you have an answer. Black Magic Design has an answer, but let me show you. So what you have on the screen right now is my control software, and I have a ATEM Mini Pro, as well as a ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. And then I have two Hyperdecks. I have the older Hyperdeck Mini, which has a alpha channel and a, and a key channel. Uh, and then I also have the new Hyperdeck Studio HD Plus, and it's kind of uh, the mini on steroids, and um, it's wider, it has more features, and I absolutely love it. But when you're setting those up, and let me take my logo off the screen here. So now you can just see the control software, and uh, on the bottom left is where the settings are. So if we click on that, we can open up this screen, and then you have the general folder, audio folder, multi-view, labels, HyperDex, and then on the far right, remote. In the HyperDex, I have my HyperDex IP address in there. It's correct. But I get this error almost every time I reboot the HyperDex and the ATEM Mini. And the only way that I can figure out how to fix it, and there's other videos on YouTube here to talk about it, is I can go into the, the very last number in my IP address, change it to a two or anything else, um, go ahead and hit enter. I'll do the same thing on my second HyperDeck. I'm going to get the error message. Now I'm going to go back and put in the right digit, which is one. And I'll go back down here and put the right digit, and it is one. And there you go. Now they are hooked up correctly. And if you know anything about the HyperDecks, you need to say what the, the IP address is. And then that A channel, which is in the back of the HyperDecks, it's a, it's a SDI um, out marked A, whatever that goes into in your ATEM input, which you have to convert from SDI to HDMI with a obviously SDI to HDMI converter, whatever channel that A channel goes into, that's what you put right up here in input. That way you can turn on auto roll and anytime you cut to that channel or you bring it into super source or you bring it up in a upstream or downstream key, it will automatically roll. And if you don't want it to automatically roll, you can turn this off or you actually have on the new HyperDeck HD or Studio HD Plus and higher, you actually have a REM button on the front and you can just hit that and it takes it off of remote control and back on. And that's a nice button to have if for some reason you're switching from SuperSource and you don't want to auto roll, you just want to freeze frame because you're doing a demo, you can do that. But I just have a message for Blackmagic Design. Please help us figure out what this is um, so that we can not have to re- set up our hyperdex every single time that we go from powered off to powered on it would be a great help i don't gripe very often on this channel and let's just say it's not a gripe it's just a it's a message it's a question so if you could like this video share this video and give it a um a uh, shout out or a comment if you're having the same difficult i would love to hear it you can also go over to aaron parecki's channel and see that he did a video on it as well so if you have a solution please let me know and uh, i am keith this is live training productions and i'll see you in the next video